The United States is once again making moves that raise serious questions for India's strategic future. In a decision that has caught global attention, former U.S. President Donald Trump's administration has excluded India from the Pact for Silicon Initiative, a U.S.-led strategic framework designed to control and secure the world's most critical silicon, semiconductor, and AI supply chains. And make no mistake, this is not just about technology. This is about power, influence, and who gets a seat at the table of the future. What is the Pact for Silicon? The Pact for Silicon is a high-stakes geopolitical and economic alliance led by the United States with one clear objective, build a secure, trusted, and innovation-driven global silicon and AI supply chain, only among selected partners. This initiative covers the entire technology ecosystem, including critical minerals and energy inputs, advanced manufacturing and semiconductors AI infrastructure and frontier AI models, software platforms and cloud ecosystems, connectivity, logistics, transportation, and energy security. In short, this pact aims to control the backbone of the global AI economy. Who's in and who's out? The countries included in this elite group are Japan, South Korea, Singapore, the Netherlands, United Kingdom, Israel, United Arab Emirates, Australia. These nations are home to the world's most advanced semiconductor firms, AI startups, cloud giants, and institutional investors, companies that already dominate global tech innovation. India, however, is not on the list. Why does this matter for India? India has been aggressively building its AI and semiconductor ecosystem, investing billions into chip manufacturing, digital infrastructure, and emerging technologies. Being excluded from this pact means limited access to trusted AI supply chains, reduced influence in global tech alliances, potential barriers to cutting-edge semiconductor and AI technologies, greater vulnerability in supply chain security. This initiative is designed to create an AI-driven prosperity loop, but only for its members. And by keeping India out, the U.S. is effectively drawing a technological boundary line. A strategic message from Washington, for many analysts, this move reflects America's hard-nosed strategic posture, choosing selective partners while quietly sidelining others, even those it calls important allies. Excluding India from such a critical initiative raises a tough question. Is the U.S. trying to contain India's rise in the global tech order? Or is this another example of Washington's habit of prioritizing control over collaboration? What happens next? The ball is now in India's court. Will India deepen its own independent tech alliances, accelerate domestic semiconductor manufacturing, strengthen partnerships outside the US-led ecosystem. One thing is clear, the global AI and semiconductor race is no longer just economic, it's geopolitical. And decisions like this could reshape alliances for decades to come. What do you think? Is the US making a strategic mistake by excluding India? Or is this just the reality of power politics in the AI era? Drop your thoughts in the comments and stay tuned for more deep dives into global geopolitics and tech power plays.